say that I'm crazy And sometimes I feel like I'm crazy But I know I'm not crazy And my mistakes don't make me I'll break me They say that I'm crazy What's up, my little crazies? It's your girl, C to the G, G, G. Back with another video. Whoop, 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 y'all. My little crazies. It's almost Thanksgiving time. Whoop, 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 whoop. But anyway, today, I want to bring up a topic. A good topic. And it's for people that had weight loss surgery. Um, I go to a lot of support groups. There's one support group that I go to. It's for members that only deal with our doctors. There's three doctors that do the surgery. It is just, you know, us to support each other. And there's other support groups that I go to. Just look at people's pictures, get advice from, stuff like that. Um, I want to say, people that had weight loss surgery, stop judging people that haven't had weight loss surgery and that are big people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about my kind. People like me that had weight loss surgery. Stop judging people that's trying to lose weight and haven't had weight loss surgery or is planning on having weight loss surgery. Stop judging people. Please stop it. I don't have to break, I'm going to break it down to y'all. I'm going to break it down to y'all. Just give me a few seconds. I'm going to break it down to you. Um, I go to some of these support groups. Say that if a person is about to have weight loss surgery. And they post a plate of food. It could be healthy food, but it's a lot of it. I see people comment. I'm talking about on Facebook, not on YouTube. I haven't seen it on YouTube. I'm talking about Facebook groups. They will attack that person so bad. Well, you shouldn't be eating that, or that's too much food, and blah, 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 that, blah, 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 that. Y'all, they be attacking people like it ain't nothing on them Facebook groups. They don't realize that we used to be those type of people. We used to eat two or three cheeseburgers. I'm talking about me, y'all. Talking about me. Um, we used to eat three to four pieces of chicken. Some people eat more than that. I'm talking about me. Um... We used to be those type of people. Why people that had weight loss surgery, a lot of people are judgmental that had weight loss surgery. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Okay. Another example. Say if a person just had weight loss surgery. Um, I know one time this guy had posted a picture of a little bitty small happy meal a kids meal y'all little kids meal and he said that he's going to try to see how he can handle it for the first time and he was laughing talking about i think he said he only ate the fries but he couldn't eat the burger or something like that y'all they attacked this man so bad I wanted to say something, but I said, I'm not going to get into the drama. I'm just going to be behind, whatever, how y'all say it? Behind the walls, behind the rock, whatever. How y'all say it? I ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I just said, mm, mm, mm. Y'all, they take that band. You should be eating that. That's how you gain weight the first time, eating all that junk food. And y'all, it was a little bitty happy meal, y'all. A little bitty happy meal. The men... Oh, he came back for him. Oh, no, he didn't take no slack. Oh, he came back. Y'all don't realize it's just a tool. Weight loss surgery is just a tool. Now, I'm going to break it down to y'all how this weight loss surgery work. Break it down to y'all. 
for the people who had weight loss surgery, hey, if y'all plan on having it, maybe this could help y'all. If y'all judgmental people. If not, y'all okay. I'm going to break it down to you how this works. A lot of people that have weight loss surgery, in their minds, it's like, I could eat whatever I want to and I could still lose weight because I only eat a little small amount of food. I'm going to repeat that whole thing I just said again because y'all might not have heard me right. I'm going to repeat it again. A lot of people... Majority of people that have weight loss surgery, in their minds, they're saying, I can eat whatever I want to and still lose weight because I can't eat a lot of that food. Let me break it down to y'all. Give y'all an example. Say at nighttime, maybe six, seven o'clock at night. You laying in the bed chilling like I be doing, watching my videos, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. So you get hungry. I'm going to the kitchen. I'm going to get me a piece of pie. So you eat the piece of pie, half of it. That piece of pie is not protein. Maybe an hour later, well, I'm still hungry. Let me go ahead and get me some chips. I can't eat a lot of it anyway. Maybe about five or six of them. Hmm. It ain't protein. Protein keeps you full. Hour later, you're still hungry. You're not drinking your water. You might be drinking soda because, remember, in y'all minds, or our minds sometimes, we can eat whatever we want to because we can't eat or drink a lot of it. You're going to get you a soda. Hmm. Drink half of it, whatever. All of it, whatever. Hour later, go back there and get you another snack. Maybe some cookies. And people that have weight loss surgery, some of our minds, we think we can eat whatever we want to just because we can eat a bite of pie, maybe a couple bites of cookies, a couple bites of chips, half a soda, whatever. What's going to happen is each and every time you go get a snack, that's calories you're putting in your body. I don't care if it's a half a piece. I don't care if it's uh, two cookies. I don't care if it's five or six chips. I don't care if it's a half a soda. Every time you put that sugary fat and snacks in your body, you're putting calories in your body. Over time, you keep doing that, say every night. Say every night you do that. Because in your minds, or sometimes in my minds too, because sometimes I slack off, It's like, well, I had weight loss surgery. I could eat that because uh, I only can eat like a little bit and I'm not going to gain a weight. I'm going to still lose weight. No, ma'am. No, sir. It don't work like that. Over time, you're going to start gaining weight back. Over time, you're going to stop losing weight if you keep doing that stuff. Because weight loss surgery is nothing but a tool. Yes, it's there to stop us from eating a lot. But when we put those fattened snacks in our bodies, those calories start gaining up again over a period of time, you gain weight back. My opinion, this is how I feel. People that had weight loss surgery that judge other people because they're struggling and putting other fat people down. I hate using that word fat. I'm going to say big people. I hate that word. I cannot stand that word fat. I hate it. Sorry, y'all. Putting big people down. Most of the time, 9 out of 10, in their minds, they think like that. Or, for example, say that they do lose a whole lot of weight. And they're skinny, beanie, weenie, teeny, itty bitty, whatever. You don't know what they're doing behind their closed walls. They don't tell them what they eat. They could be sitting there judging a person because they're struggling and sitting there eating uh, a candy bar at the same time. But they judge judging people. Stop judging people that had weight loss surgery. I'm talking about any type of weight loss surgery. Uh, lap bed, sleeve, uh, gastric bypass, whatever. Y'all, y'all wrong. Y'all wrong for what y'all do because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Y'all keep on judging people because God don't. Keep on. Keep on. Keep 
people judge the people. Mm -hmm. People judge the people if you want to. It's called payback. Is a what? Payback is a what? Y'all, yeah, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all wrong for that. I mean, y'all, this is my opinion. Once again, my opinion. I don't recommend certain support groups out there. When I first decided to have weight loss surgery, it was horrible. The support groups. Now, I know some of my people that watch my channel is in my local support group. Let me make it clear. I'm not talking about that support group. I'm not going to give that support group name out. But I'm talking about the support group that did my surgery. All of our members, you know, I'm not talking about y'all. We're good people. Because we are on the same level because we have the same doctors. We have the same nutritionists. We have the same people. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about these other support groups. Let me make that clear. One time, this is before I had surgery, I posted two baked chicken legs, brown beans, and it was some kind of vegetable. I can't remember what vegetable it was. Y'all, they attacked me so bad. This is before I had surgery because I, I, yeah, I ate all of it. It was baked chicken, y'all. Brown beans and some kind of vegetable. And this is when I was, you know, in the progress of trying to lose weight before the surgery. Y'all, they attacked me so bad in that group. Talking about, oh my gosh, how can you eat that much? I could eat that much because I didn't have surgery. Who can't eat two pieces of baked chicken? Normal people, especially if you're a big person, we could eat three or four. You're lucky I only ate two. Because I could have turned down about four or five. So they're lucky I just ate two. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was trying. like You know, my weight loss surgery, diet stuff before that. Anyway. But, uh, y'all, they attacked me so bad in that group. Just because I ate a lot. Y'all better watch how y'all treat people. People that had weight loss surgery, y'all better, better watch it. If you got a friend or you got friends that are still big and you're getting smaller, don't put them people down. Don't put those people down. If y'all go out to eat, say y'all go out to eat, you have your little little bitty kids meal, whatever you decide to eat. Say if your friend get a steak, potato, salad, breads, whatever, dessert, and she's turned it up, we don't have a right as weight loss people, to put those people down. Talk about them. Girl, oh my gosh, I can't believe you ate all that. Oh, that's disgusting. Or all that bread or all that potato. We don't have a right to put nobody down because number one, we used to be like that. I used to be like that. Oh, I could tear some food down. Y'all know my video. Y'all know my mukbangs and mukbobs. You better go watch them. I will tear it up. I would. Y'all, I will tear it up. I would, you better go watch my old videos. You better go and watch them. Anyway, besides the point, we don't have a right to judge people that are overweight still. We have no right. Now, I'm going to tell you what rights we do have. Say if you got a friend, say, hey, girl, you looking good. Or, hey, bro. You looking good. I'm sorry. I got to get used to talking to the men. A lot of times I'll be forgetting I'm talking to men sometimes too. I'm always focused on the women because I'm a woman. So you have to excuse me. I'm talking to you got men too. Um, you look good. How are you losing weight? What kind of diet you on? Or what kind of lifestyle change you on? Can you help me out? My opinion, we can give them some input. Like, you know what? This is what I do to help out. Maybe you can try it. But if they fail and if they slip up, we do not have a right to sit there and say, well, you're slipping up. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't eat this. You shouldn't blah, blah, blah. We ain't got no right to judge nobody. Weight loss surgery is nothing but a tool to help us. It helps. You keep eating or we keep eating that junk food that we used to go back to. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. So every time you get ready to put that cookie up, See to the GGG, talking to myself. 
You better think. You better think. Next time we get ready to put that piece of pie and cake in our mouth, Thanksgiving is coming up. CGGG. I better think. Go back to your old ways if you want to. Go. And I'm not, once again, I'm not saying don't treat yourself. Go back and watch my other video. Treat yourself. It's just one day. Not treat yourself Thanksgiving, Friday, Black Friday, that Saturday, that Sunday. You know we got leftovers. Y'all know we do. We, we, know, we know how we do it. I didn't say treat yourself all weekend. Just that one day. See, to the GGG. Talking to myself. Uh, yeah, I got to talk to myself. I got to, yeah. Sometimes I got to go back and watch my videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, besides the point, that's all I really want to talk about, y'all. People that have weight loss surgery are people that is getting ready to have weight loss surgery. And if they struggling, support those people. I know some people on YouTube, and I know some people in other support groups is about to have. They be like, oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Or uh, they on the liquid diet. Y'all, that liquid diet is, woo! Y'all, that two weeks liquid diet. Y'all better go watch my videos. It was the hardest thing I've ever did in my life. You're going to be hungry. You're going to want some food. You're going to, y'all, it's a mental thing. It's mental. It's stressful. Y'all, it's hard. It's hard. When you see the people going through that, people that had weight loss surgery, we have no right to put those people down that's going through that liquid. If they screw up, say, for example, they want a liquid diet, they eat a piece of chicken. Oh my gosh, you're not supposed to do that. You want a liquid diet. You're not going to be able to have surgery now. That's not That's not true. That's not true. I screwed up one or two times. I ate a piece of turkey. I was feeding the cat turkey. The turkey looked good. I ate me a little piece of it. I screwed up twice. Yes, I did. Look at me now, boo. And I, st and I still look good and I still had it. If you screw up, we need to support each other. Don't put people down. Quit judging people. Quit talking about people. Quit putting them down. Support each other. Just support each other and love each other. And that's all I got to say. So don't forget to like it up. Like, like, like it up. Hey, like it up. Like, 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 like this video, y'all. Share, 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 share. Comment below if you got any questions, any concerns, any advice. Remember, I love you, but God loves you so much more. Take care and be blessed. Bye-bye, my little crazy. They say that I'm crazy. And sometimes I feel like I'm crazy. Feel like I'm crazy. But I know I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. And my mistakes don't make me.